So today's video is all about why my parents moved. Hello friends, welcome back to my channel, Peyton Becker here. If you have not already, go check out the video before this. I'm pretty sure I did the day in the life. Pretty boring, but it just shows you what I do literally every day of my life. Same thing every day. I shop, I eat, whatever. Go watch that. I'll put the card up here. But go check that video out. If you have not already, like, comment. We're almost at 500 subscribers. What? Um, so I'm really excited about that. Um, and let's get started with today's video. So today's video is all about why my parents moved to where they moved. And they moved to Dubai. Well, to be more specific, they actually moved to Abu Dhabi. And I'm going to pull up a little map on my phone and show you what I mean. Let's look it up. All right, so I'm actually going to pull this up on Google Earth to show you literally exactly where they live because it's kind of hard to explain and literally I had no idea where this was before they moved there and then we'll get into the story of when they moved, how long they've been there, why they moved and everything else and why I'm here living in York which is fun. So without further ado, okay so as you can see on the screen um, I just pulled up Google Earth and I looked up United Arab Emirates and that is the country um, that they live in and let's like go out further let's let's show you where that is so this is Africa right and there's me so I'm over to the left and they're all the way over here so it's about 7,000 miles away yeah it's pretty crazy and the plane ride is not fun um, but they live in like okay so Dubai is right here very common a lot of people know it, pretty much the whole world knows what Dubai is, but they actually live in the capital, which is 45 minutes south of Dubai, which is Abu Dhabi, and they live here just because it is less, like, touristy and not a lot of commotion. I mean, there's still commotion because it's, like, the capital of the city or the country, so it's really big and whatever, um, and, like, pretty royal, like, that's where the princes live and all of this other shit, so... That's where they live. It's more expensive to live here, but it's less touristy. So that's where like a lot of locals live and it just works better for them and they like it. And it's closer to my stepdad's job. So I'll show you exactly where we live. So this is Abu Dhabi and we live on the water over here. And you scroll in right down here and we live in this area. Um, and we live right on the beach and I'll see if I can get a picture. Um, I'm going to do a, a house tour when I go over and show you guys what it is. But we live literally in this building right here. So we have a townhouse. It's in there. And there's the beach. And you walk outside and the beach is right there. So that's where we live. Don't stalk me. I guess you can stalk me over there. I'm not living there. But anyways. So that's where they moved. Um, long story short, let's go through the timeline. So I'm pretty sure it was 2017 where... Maybe it was 2016. It was probably 2016 where the idea first popped out and like my parents were talking about it not very seriously, like gave it no thought at all. They were just like, oh, like what if? And we're like, oh, that's funny. Like never happened. Um, I was in my junior year of high school. My siblings were in ninth grade. Uh, my two younger siblings were in ninth grade and what happened. Um, so we started talking about it more and more and I was like, no, like I'm not really for it. Like I don't really want to go there. I would rather just like stay at my school right now and just finish out like with my friends and everything and whatever so they kept talking about it and I was like oh yeah like I could see myself there now like I don't really like my high school I'm not really having like a good high school year I hated high school to be completely honest it was the worst four years of my life I absolutely hated it and we can get into that another time um but so whatever a couple months went by and they were thinking about it like more and more and finally it came down to the decision they were like okay like we're gonna apply for the job and just like see what happens because normally this application process can take like up to a year two years like you never know what's gonna happen and i was like oh, okay like blah 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 whatever never gonna happen well it was going to be like more of a option for us to go there and so we were just like thinking about it and this was probably May when they heard back and they were like, oh, like we got the job and we can move over in October. Uh, and this was like May 2017. Um, so 
I was super excited. I wanted to go. My sister wanted to go. My stepbrother was going no matter what. Um, but because my stepbrother was like on that side of the family, he didn't have to check with anybody else. Um, but because me and my sister have like, you know, my dad and my other side of the family, we had to check with them. And that's when it got a little crazy. I'm uh, not really comfortable talking about that yet. Maybe in the future. But um, long story short, we were not able to go in October. So my stepdad and my stepbrother decided to move over there, take the job. Um, well, we kind of sorted everything out and that was like the start of my senior year and I was just like, I don't know. So a lot of stuff happened my senior year. That's not very pleasant to talk about, but that's okay. Learning experiences, whatever. So I ended up going to cyber school for my first half of senior year. Not sure why this is relevant to them moving over, but whatever. Um, my sister did the same thing. Then my half, my first half of my senior year was over and I was tired of cyber school and it was terrible and I was like isolate, isolated isolated and then I start, decided to go back to Eastern and that's my high school and I graduated there my sister did not she continued with cyber school um and it was just like a really tricky time for us we were dealing with a lot we were in and out of some tricky situations like it was just life-changing and just kind of like not pleasant and not fun to talk about so moving forward so there goes my senior year I graduate I'm done my stepbrother and stepsis my stepbrother and stepdad are living there full time. My stepbrother enrolled in school. He moved over in January, so he was there for half a year. We all went to visit over Thanksgiving for the first time. It's a 13 hour plane ride. Whatever, it was awesome. Weather was beautiful, people are nice, locals are crazy, they're not terrorists, they're not trying to kill you, they don't allow any criminals or anything into the country. It's very like protected. Um, whatever, we had a really good time the first trip and then senior year was over get when I went back. I get, I'm guessing I went back again. I've, I've been there three times, I think. Three times so far. So they ended up getting a house, a townhouse like I showed you, and started like buying furniture for it and whatever. And this was the summer and my sister completed her sophomore year of school online and was still really pushing to move over there and try to figure everything that was happening out. And she... What did I do? I went to summer school, which up at Penn State when I was there. If you haven't already, go check out why I left Penn State. I'll leave the tag up here. Um, but whatever. So I went to summer school and I was kind of like out of the picture. I turned 18. I was getting tattoos. Um, I was doing all this stuff. So I was like not really home at all dealing with any of the trickiness. Um, I kind of like left and didn't look back because I was tired of dealing with everything that I just wanted to start fresh with new people, new friends, everything. So I went to summer school. That was the end of my story. My sister stayed back home. Obviously, she was, you know, going into 11th grade. It wasn't super, I keep saying, uh, wasn't super happy with her life at the moment and kept just like trying to figure out the situation. So the end of the summer came around and things ended up working out where she was able to move over full time and start her junior year overseas in Abu Dhabi. And that's when my mom decided to move with her. So my mom, my sister, and they packed up my dog and shipped my dog over and my family then moved to Dubai, Abu Dhabi. So now to the part where I guess I should have started with this, but the job that my stepdad does. So he is ex-military he was in the army for 20 years flying helicopters teaching people how to fly helicopters literally like the whole shebang okay so a bunch of his friends got the opportunity to go work over in Abu Dhabi as like a contractor for their military that's like the easiest way I can explain it without getting like super technical but basically like they were living over there working for their government military and my stepdad was like that's awesome like I want to apply and he it's all about who you know so the people that he knew kind of got him a position he took the job and is now flying helicopters with their princess teaching them how to like fly so that's pretty cool his hours are awesome he doesn't work super long hours or literally anything at all very light, laid back total opposite of the u.s so many days off for the muslim religion no it's not scary all right so let's talk about cars um and driving and like all of that stuff so basically like driving over this shirt literally i don't i never wear because i don't like it so why am I wearing it, you ask? I don't know. Okay, um, so let's talk about cars. The driving over there is literally insane. Like, you have to be 18, the dri legal driving age is 18, drinking is 21, I don't know if I said that already. Um, but it's just like, like people are crazy. They have super expensive cars and they just don't care what they do with them. So they'll drive them like off the road, they'll beep at you, they'll honk at you. Like you have to be knowing your shit and like where to turn, what to do. Like, it's just like, 
Think of Fast and Furious, like that's how you have to drive to get to the freaking grocery store. And like my mom drives and I get scared and she comes back to the States now and drives like she does over there and it's scary because she's aggressive and you don't need to be here. This is York County, people. It's easy driving for the most part. Yeah, driving is insane. Food over there is like pretty normal. They have like a Walmart, it's called Waitrose. Um, and then they also have Care For, which is like a Walmart. Waitrose is more like a uppity Wegmans, but small. Um, so they have like obviously everything that you need. A lot of the stuff is pretty much everything in that country is imported because it's the desert. So there's no like vegetation kind of. Not like, for, not for most of the country. So everything's pretty much imported. So the prices are more expensive to like buy like fresh produce and groceries and stuff. Um, but they have that. Shopping is more expensive because everything's imported. Uh, nothing's really made there and it's all like Gucci and crap. The malls are huge. Like mall shopping is what these people do and they don't go out till late. When I was there, it was in May and like we would go out at nine and by 11.30 like we'd be done shopping and everybody would come in. The malls are open till like three in the morning, I think, which is insane. Who wants to shop at two in the morning? Like, I have no idea. I just think it's so crazy. But they don't have, like, anything to do except shop. Like, that's how rich these people are. Like, they just, they don't work because they don't need to. They drive super expensive, super expensive cars. They have nannies for their kids. They have maids to clean their house. Like, they have butlers and all these other things. They just need to go shopping because they have nothing else to do, which is amazing. Like, where do I sign up? That's the mall side of thing, like shopping, everything, everyday life is pretty cool. Um, so yeah, they have been living there for, I would say, almost three years now. So they've pretty much been living there for like three years, not collectively. My sister's been there for probably a year now, almost a year. Oh, it's over a year. It's like a year and a half now. Um, they absolutely love it. They are thriving. This is like the happiest I've ever seen, like my family. Um, for Christmas, we're all going over there. We're gonna go on a cruise. And I'm so excited because the seven of us never get together. We get together once a year and that's for Christmas. Um, and it's just changing because everybody's like growing up. Like my older brother is lives in London. My, younger, my older sister lives in Florida. My two younger siblings obviously are over there and I'm here. So like we're never together, ever, which is crazy and sad. But it's just like cool at the same time because we can all go over there and have a good time for family like um, for Christmas and we'll have fun. Alright so the house is pretty pretty simple. It's like a townhouse. It's three bedrooms but there's a maid's quarter so it's actually four bedrooms. Over there they highly rely on maids and nannies to like help with everything and that's just like their custom like that's what they're used to. Um, so like you have a baby you get a nanny. Like you have a house you get a maid. Like that's just what it is over there and for me it was weird because that's strange because I didn't have a nanny or a maid growing up but over there it's like that's what you do. Like it's just whatever. Um, so every house comes with a maid's quarters which is a little like twin bed dorm room with a bathroom um, that's normally on the first floor most times near the kitchen because like if they're cooking or like whatever. So that's my room. It's fun. I like it because it's just my own space and it's small and it has a closet and like literally everything you need and I think the bed is fun. It's a twin bed but like <laughs> um, and what else? It like there's no windows which is it's like a cave, but it's dark, so you don't wake up at all, and I love that. The only downside is it, it is a right across from the kitchen, so like you can literally hear everything. Um, the complex that we live in also has like a gym in it, and it's right across the street from like shops. So like there's a grocery store, there's like CrossFit cafes. I don't know if there's any like shopping. There's like a salon to get your nails and everything. So like it's really cool and like progressive, I guess you could say. Um, it's right on the beach, like I showed you. You can like go paddle boarding and there's this like walkway that connects all the communities together. So like you can go for long walks or like runs, paddle, kayaking. There are like seven pools in the complex too. So you can go swimming in different pools. What else is there? That's pretty much it. Their dogs are crazy. And all these people do over there have babies. So there are so many babies and kids like roaming the streets with their nannies. Um, and there's so many dogs over there. It's just like fun. I don't know. I love it. It's just really cool. That is pretty much all I got for you for today's video. So I think it's going to be pretty much on the shorter side. But this is like literally my number most que number one most asked question is why did my family move? Where did they move? What are they doing there? When are they coming back? Which I don't think I answered that yet. Okay, so basically my stepdad has his job. It's open contracted, so that means they can fire him whenever or he can leave whenever. 
So they could be there for five more years or they could get, he could get fired like tomorrow, which I don't think he's going to get fired or let go or anything like whatever. Um, so it just like keeps it open on both ends. I think they're probably going to stay there five years most, but I highly doubt that they stay there that long. But who knows? I think they really want to live in Europe for a little bit of time. So I could see them like living here for a little bit more and then going to Europe or somewhere. Who knows? They're crazy. They might decide next year that they want to get up and move once my siblings leave. So it's all up to that. So they moved to Abu Dhabi. They live there. It's white. It's great. It's wonderful. That's all I have for today's video. If you have any questions about anything or like want to know more about my life, comment down below. I will answer them. Again, I will be filming a house tour when I get over there in December. I'm going for a month, but I'll be there. I'm also taking a trip within that trip somewhere else, which I'll be relating. I'll be revealing later. Uh, so yeah, the big things are coming and I know I keep looking over there and I like have to stop because that's so annoying, but I just, my window's right there and I keep looking out at the trees and seeing if it's snowing. Uh, and I can't wait for the weather. Oh, and real quick. So the weather for this place is beautiful. It's so hot in the summer, like almost too hot where you can't go outside, which I don't like going there then. But in the winter, it's like 70s and 80s. Very nice. So excited for this cruise. That's what I've been shopping for lately. Maybe I'm ordering a bunch of stuff, so I think I might do like a try-on video soon. So maybe we'll see that. I actually ordered a bunch of shit and it's sitting like right over there and all oh, doesn't work. And if you're not following me on Instagram, at Peyton Becker, go hit that up. Um, go over there because I give you a daily dose of what goes on in my life. So that's all I got for you. It's 2.55. I'm ready for a nap. I'm probably going to edit this video and have it to you out by Thursday. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Again, if you have any questions, comment down below. Make sure you like, subscribe, and follow me on Instagram one more time, at Peyton Becker. So thank you very much. I will see you next time. Go ahead and watch some of these videos. Because